Hello, my name is Susbianko. In this video we will have a look at the Sparklight Easy One Hand Waterproof Fire Starter. Uh, this is a US military item. The item comes in a sturdy orange box and uh, in a in a bag there there are some more informations. Also on how to use it. It's really really simple. As a bonus, for whatever reason, uh, this this uh, version had uh, tinder in that round tubing. It says for hollow handle uh, survival knives. Uh, it's a bit amazing by uh, 2022 20, that still somebody uses a uh, hollow survival hollow handle survival knives. But uh, yeah, at least some additional uh, tinder. Then we have the plastic. Watertight, they say. Uh, packaging. I still would uh, put it in a in a Ziploc bag for additional uh, water tightness. We have uh, there some information about the manufacturer of that. That is uh, made in USA uh, as well. Then, as we open it up, we have on the far side the compartment for the main fire starter. And as we pull that out, we have here the divider, some spare flints, another tinder that did fall out, and we have the manual. Now the thing is empty. First we're going to look at the manual quick. So we have there some more information. It's a typical uh, wheel type flint sparker. Uh, basically like you have on a regular lighter. So worst case you can use that as tinder as well. Uh, then we have some of the tinders quite many in that compartment so that lasts you a while the item is basically waxed waxed uh, cotton string or small rope or what that what that would be it's it's a bit uh, pliable uh, for uh, starting the fire you can always uh, take that a bit apart make it more more fluffy and uh, then then uh, start it. Then we have the main item. Uh, this one is the older version in brass. The new model or current version is made out of polymer. I can't say much about the polymer model. I specifically got me the older brass model because I like metal better. So we have on the back side, that part here that is a uh, screwed on, uh, it's basically like the end cap of a, of a screw. Uh, you take that off, and inside you have the spring and the flints that push the flint all the way to the sparking wheel. There, uh, the thing is relative uh, solid, screwed on, should be so. Uh, you need uh, pliers or something to uh, remove that, and uh, would be maybe a good idea to make a slot so you can use a screwdriver in the field. Uh, that's just additional. We have a nice brass design. We have on one side the part here. So uh, that gives you the direction. With the, On the other sides we, we don't have that. So if you push it like that it's not good. It needs to be like that. That it uh, sparks correct and you see it sparks really really nice. The axle is made out of metal too. So uh, basically you have the, the tinder, uh, you're gonna hold it there and you spark it that it lights up. Really easy to do. Also uh, because it's that compact of a, of a kit, this could be carried uh, alone as well. So really nice. I think the, the, the flints are the Zippo kind size, uh, regular 
available and all that. Uh, the drawback is it's a bit slippery and uh, smooth. You can always uh, wrap it with a thinner uh, cord. That's what I'm gonna do. And uh, there is no lanyard hole or lanyard loop. Uh, I'm gonna put one on with that thinner cordage that I'm gonna, gonna use on it uh, once uh, that video here is done uh, so that we can actually uh, secure it a bit better from uh, dropping or from, from losing. Uh, also, uh, the polymer version you get in an orange color or in a green, so uh, that gives you a bit more visibility than uh, this. Uh, we have now fall, you saw that, that the wind that from time to time comes. Uh, we have a, yeah, the brass color would, would uh, blend in right with the fall colors, and uh, if we drop it, it would not be too easy to be seen. So, uh, the plastic version, the polymer version in orange would be maybe better than uh, this one. I just wanted to go with metal at least for now, maybe later on I'm gonna get me a polymer version. So as I say this item is used by the US military for many many years. Uh, it works, it is uh, inexpensive, easy to uh, find uh, online or in stores for a uh, for buying, it's made in USA, all good, and uh, I really enjoy that item.